For example, they say that chapter 11, 45, 46 is about a prophecy by Nuh that never came to pass since his son drowned. May the curse of Allah be on the liars, Farid. When did we say that the prophecy did not come to pass? Do you not fear Allah? Ahmadi Muslims believe in every word of the Quran. Even your famous Mujaddid Albani says this, that we believe in the entirety of the Holy Quran. Do not spread lies because you cannot respond to our arguments. The prophecy was fulfilled. However, originally, Hazrat Nuh al misinterpreted it and thought that his son was included in his family and would be saved from the flood. However, if you study the verses, there is nothing there about a prophecy in the first place. It shocks me how Freed lies against the Holy Quran. He claims to be a Salafi and does not even read the verses in context nor looks at other verses which speak of this event. In this verse, Hazrat Nuh al -Islam himself said, My Lord, indeed my son is of my family and indeed your promise is true because Allah the Almighty promised Hazrat Nuh al -Islam to save his family. He made a prophecy and told the disbelievers that those who join me in this ark will be saved and my son and my family will be saved from the flood. This was the prophecy of Hazrat Nuh a.s. We see this in chapter 11 verse 37 to 39. Allah the Almighty states and build the ark under our watchful eyes and directions and do not plead with me for those who have done wrong for they will surely be drowned. So he began to build the ark and whenever some of the chiefs of his people passed by, they mocked at him. He said, if you laugh at us, we will soon laugh at you similarly. You will soon come to know who will be visited by a humiliating torment in this life and overwhelmed by an everlasting punishment in the next. This speaks of the prophecy made by Hazrat Nuh alayhi the same understanding is given by his famous scholars. For example, Ibn Kathir explains under these verses that these verses mean that Hazrat Nuh al-Islam gave them a severe threat and a serious warning. And he uses the word wa'idun, which is used for prophecies. Remember, a prophecy is a claim made by the Prophet himself in order to prove his prophethood. As proven from the Holy Quran itself, Hazrat Nuh -Islam warned the people. He made a prophecy that him and his family would be saved from the flood and the disbelievers were drowned. The prophecy was fulfilled. However, he misinterpreted what family meant and it did not include his son because he was of unrighteous conduct. In the verse, Nuh salam simply misunderstood Allah's promise. This is not a prophecy. Alhamdulillah, you finally accepted that you were upon falsehood and that prophets can misinterpret the revelation. However, you are denying and saying that this was not a prophecy, even though the Quran makes it clear that it was a prophecy. And every Muslim knows this. You're literally one of the first Muslims to come out in public and deny the Holy Quran and claim that this was not a prophecy. Are you claiming that when Allah told Hazrat Nuh al he would save him and his family, he did not announce it to the people? But Allah himself says in the Holy Quran, the prophets do not hide the ghab. And the other verses I showed make it clear that Hazrat Nuh al warned them that they would drown. He made a prophecy. I want to ask to doctor, maybe he can uh, share, uh, he can talk with us about what Allah said, who is the brother, who, who is the real family. Because uh, I know the ayat when Nuh salam said to Allah, you promise me you're going to protect my family when his son don't follow him. And, uh, and Allah said to Nur, he said, your son is not your family because you don't believe. If you have not yet subscribed, make sure to subscribe and click on the bell icon so you can get notifications for every new video. Also make sure to like and comment on the video and follow on Twitter and Instagram. <laughs>